Hey guys, I'm Leo Mendes and I'm pretty happy to be back in the Magnus channel. It's such a wonderful opportunity to talk more about the things that we love. Synthesizers, history and sound visualization. So, if you want to learn more, acompáñenme a ver el siguiente video. Si quieres ver más videos en español de Make Noise, no olvides dejar tus mensajes aquí abajo. Vision and sound have been tied together since the dawn of humanity. We perceive our world as a whole a complex data set of signals reaching our sensors from many directions. Our brain does complicated calculations to perceive our reality. Surely you have heard about the word stereophonic, pun intended, and this word was coined in the 1920s inspired by another word, stereoscopy. On the Victorian era, Charles Whitestand, an English scientific and, by the way, a musical inventor, created a device for displaying three-dimensional images, called a stereoscope. This wonder was possible by the effect of stereopsis. Our eyes are separated by approximately 6 degrees, and the binocular geometry creates a sense of depth. Another fun fact is that the word stereo has its origin in the Greek word stereos, that means solid, not dual or binary. And even I didn't find a solid reference, another pun intended, I believe this is a perfect term, because the sense of depth creates the illusion of realness, solidness, in real life, VR, or any other 3D experiences. So in the end, we are really used to mix some words when we are describing our perception. A stereophonic sound is widely used nowadays. This also creates the illusion of depth and three-dimensionality and it's something that Make Noise has been working on super hard. I have on my Mesa de Prueba a QPAS, a Quad Peak Animation System, a stereo multimode filter module with four filter cores. In this QPAS, we also have stereo outs for the low pass, high pass, band pass, and the amazing smile pass, all these at the same time. In my last video collaboration with Make Noise, we saw the sounds and also the control voltage with light and color, but there's a ton of ways to visualize sound. In the last few months, I've been experimenting with cymatics, a term coined by the Swiss philosopher Hans Jenny. These amazing experiments create patterns on fluids, like sand or water, that represents the sound. And to be honest, even the most basic sound is really mesmerizing to watch. Getting back on the title of this video, it was inspired by all this history, but specifically resembles the work of one of my personal heroes, Juan García Esquivel. The Mexican composer and arranger was well known for the space age pop, but also for the panoramic sound. A couple of years ago, I learned about the production of a series of amazing records made by the RCA Victor to promote their hi-fi systems back in the 60s. In particular, I was amazed by the story behind the album Latin Esque. Esquivel was really excited by the sound possibilities of a stereo recording, and at that time he was well known as the king of stereo, pioneering the sonic capabilities of a stereo image. To extend this to the extreme, Esquivel decided to record two orchestras on the RCA Hollywood studio, one block away of each other communicating by a complex system of headphones, incorporating not only the Latin flavor, but also heavy engineering and a wonderful example of sound design. Sadly, here we do not have a couple of orchestras nor two studios, but I do have two Ocoast, the Cupas and a couple of Make Noise models to create a stereo action. If you are not already, this is the perfect time to wear a pair of stereo headphones. And now let's prepare a microsystem with the Mimeophone the brand new Cupas, and also I have lying around this mod the mix. To conduct this experiment, I have the CR3X multimedia monitors. Please be advised, in the making of this video, I might destroy these monitors, so don't try this at home. I found these monitors useful for this experiment because the cones are sealed, but again, please do not try this at home because you might destroy your monitors. And now let's connect the CR3X.
so the speakers can be laid horizontal and as stable as possible, I'm gonna use this foam. In this red cable we're gonna have our left or coast. And in this black cable we're gonna have our right or coast. Left in red to the cube pass and the black cable to the right. Now let's do some dummy patching. And let's test it out. To start this visualization, let's use something easy to clean up. In this case, chia seeds. And now let's send some modulation from the slope circuit to the input of the rotate. Now let's visualize this with a finer powder. In this case, we're gonna use cinnamon. And now let's bring to the table the mimeophone. To do this, let's send the smile pass directly to the input. And we can also send some modulation to the frequencies. Now let's adjust the parameters.
and move around the zone. And now it's time for more stereo action. From now on is the point of no return. For the next visualization, I'm gonna use some black goo I found nearby the washing machine. So let's do it. And now, let's bring another good friend to the table, in this case, the O control. So let's move these fellas a little bit. Let's send again red for the first O coast. And let's use a black cable for the second O coast. To visualize the next patch, I run pretty quickly to the kitchen to get some canola oil. And finally, for my last visualization, I'm gonna bring a good old friend. Do you remember the Hikari Machina? Well, it's here again. Also, let's bring the cactus. And a lighting bolt. And I know that it's gonna be my last visualization today, because we're gonna use another fluid. In this case, ethylic alcohol. This fluid for me gets a better result, but also removes the glue from the cone. So, ended up destroying the monitors. So. Of course we're gonna do it!
As you may notice, this visualization wasn't meant to be scientific. Instead, I was looking to expand my vocabulary in terms of visual sounds. And also my main focus of this video is to encourage you to keep making some noise. Thanks again to the whole Mainnoise team for inviting me again to create another video in this wonderful channel. It's such a honor to be part of this amazing community. Yo soy Leo Mendes y nos vemos a la próxima.